All right, Mopar fam. So we're up here at the Rock, Rockingham Dragway, and I found a very unique Challenger up here, as you can see. It's basically a new version of a wing car. What do you guys think? Look at this. This is pretty cool. Bell? 426? Man, I bet this thing's a monster. Look at the clip on here. Alright guys, I'm up here with Scott and we're going to talk about his very awesome looking unique Daytona he's got going on. A new new age wing car, it looks like, right? Well, yes, it uh, actually started out as a 2011 Challenger. And uh, I've located it online, bought it actually through eBay, uh, in, nearly in Ohio. And a uh, fairly special car, and I had it for quite a while until I heard about Mr. Petty's program putting these things together. You know. Became very interested. That's awesome. So it's a four. So it's a 426. Original motor you said was a 57. That's correct. 2011 okay. 5.7 RT. So it's been bored to a 426. Yes. And it's got a Kenny Bell on it. How much horsepower does it make? Last time we checked it about three years ago, it was 808. 808 horsepower. Have you ran it? Oh, I've, I've had it at Z Max for like street car takeover a couple uh -huh. times. It's, it's more set up for a road course. I have been to right. road at uh, Atlanta Motorsports Park. Uh -huh. Before I got out to Kershaw, but I'll be Carolina right. Motorsports Park. It's one of my favorite. Road racing stuff? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. But it, uh, the package came pretty much with everything you see, all the body work, coilovers. Uh, I modified a lot of stuff on my engine at the time. They were doing wheel pulls and uh, other things like the bore was totally me. But I wanted it to be as iconic to uh, the old school stuff as I could because I built it in uh, sort of in memory of my father who was uh, the oldest lived person with Goodyear Racing, worked with him 58 years. He was with uh, NASCAR and USAC and IROC the last 35 years and uh, ran out of the uh, building that is located at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And that's how I grew up in the world of speed. I knew Mr. Petty, I knew Mr. Parsons very well, uh, just because of my father. So when he passed, it was partially the reason probably Mr. Petty allowed me to do this one in green, whereas all the others you see would be uh, blue or orange or black. And of course, has a big Petty Park bird on them. Yep, yep, I see that. So has the car got a name? Uh, actually, it sort of does because I grew up in racing, and we call it Green Thirteen. Green Thirteen. It's nobody is there, you know. Sounds you good. I like it. Yeah, it rings. It rings. I get it. Yes, sir. So yeah, it was actually in production as number twelve, and because of a couple of things popping up, it ended up being thirteen. And they said, "You still have twelve?" I said, "Heck no, no, no. Thirteen is great. I love it." So, yeah. Uh, I think I like he ended it. up selling this sort of franchise Daytona package to a company in Virginia because mm -hmm. uh, I had to order a front spoiler that I took off down at Atlanta Motorsports Park in the Rumble. Oh, got a little frisky out there, huh? <laughs> so this is pretty much, right, is it is it pretty much like a bolt-on kit you can buy or? To a large, but yeah, the body parts right. definitely are. And okay. as far as mechanical or that sort of thing, my engine, like I said, it was not in the package. It right. Was, I changed quite a bit. Did there. a lot. Uh, but 
They are pretty much, as you see the car, everything comes that way. The petty interior, you can take your color, the pullovers, all that stuff. You can modify small things with it. It was pretty much a base package. You brought your Challenger or Charger, and they created right. this for this and this part. Turn it into something that nobody else has, pretty much. Exactly. Yeah, I think Mr. Petty ended up making 19 of them before he sold it. Uh, and I don't know how many that company has done. Right. Okay. Well, it's a very unique car. I like it. I've never seen one before, and I've been to a lot of Mopar events. So that's the first one I've seen. Yep. And uh, it caught my eye. I've been wanting to come out here and look at it all weekend. So it's. Uh, I I'm glad I've seen it. I've never really been serious into the racing like this. And yeah. I, I came mainly for the car show. Yeah. And I got lucky I won that class in my yeah. LA. Yeah. Watching this, I didn't think I would race that. There we go. Hey, racing is all luck, isn't it? Yeah. But anybody that's there, if you remember anything about this car, don't remember anything about this old guy. It was built for Wayne Carr, good year racing. Anybody that's watched NASCAR, you've seen him a thousand times on TV. There you go. There you have it, guys.